Hey you fellas, so I posted on Reddit about overclocking my monitor and a few people seemed interested in it and seeing as my channel is mostly focused on Counter-Strike, I assumed that there'd be a fair few of you who might be interested in it as well. So, the reason for the camera is because uh, for a lot of this I'm going to have to turn off screen capture and um, I need a bit of video to put there. So, what you want to do is, oh this, this particular version will only work from the video, I'm going to do a separate version for, I'm pointing over there because that's where the system I'm going to be using is, um, for Intel and AMD because that works a little bit differently. So first up you want to open up your NVIDIA control panel and this is where we're going to do the bulk of our overclocking. If you go over to change resolution you can see I have three monitors here. I have my AOC G2 460 um, and two, they're called Han Star on here on the back of the monitors it says Hans Spree so that's a bit confusing but uh, you see I've got two custom resolutions here the first one is 172 Hertz and the second one is 189 Hertz but it's at a slightly lower resolution the reason for this is because basically if you have a lower resolution you are reducing the amount of of pixels that your monitor is rendering obviously and uh, that just means that you can have uh, you can render those fewer pixels a bit faster. So that's what's with that. Um, the base resolution is 1080p and it's 144 hertz. So we're going to we're going to use this to kick it off. I'm going to have to stop recording for a second while I do this. So you're just going to you're just going to hit apply. Um, if you're not already on this resolution, you probably are. But you're just going to hit apply just so you're on there. And then from here Yes, it's changed. That is correct. And then you have to give it a second because it's a bit retarded and takes a little while. And then this customize option should appear. From here, right, we can see I've got my two custom custom resolutions already set up here. But we're going to go ahead and create a new one. So enter the resolution you want. Uh, you probably want to start off native. If you're a hardcore Counter-Strike player, you can always reduce the resolution to get a few extra hertz out of it. It's worth noting I'm using Display Port for um, for this particular monitor. Um, that's this one here that you're currently looking at. If you're using HDMI, you should also be able to overclock decently well. If you're using DVI or VGA, your results are going to be significantly smaller uh, in terms of how much you can get on your overclock. You you know you can maybe get 30 hertz out of Display Port, whereas you can only get maybe six out of VGA or DVI. So that's worth noting, expect lower results, you'll probably have to lower your resolution because there's a bandwidth limitation on VGA and DVI which just means that it can't push the data through fast enough so it's a limitation of the cable rather than your monitor. It might be your monitor as well but it's more likely to be a limitation of the cable. Anyway to kick off with, now depending on what you're using, if you're using VGA or DVI um, start off by incrementing by 2 if you're using DisplayPort or HDMI increment by 4 so we're going to try 4 here um, and then you're just going to hit test uh, I have to stop recording again here while I do this you're just going to hit test and your screens will or just one screen if you've got one will go black and then you'll be met with an option that says apply changes that will look like this uh, you want to hit yes on that, assuming there is nothing funky about the way it's being displayed. Um, if you get things like rapid vertical lines appearing, or if you find things look slightly fuzzy, then you've gone a bit too far, you need to back off a little bit. And just rinse and repeat this, just keep keep incrementing it. Uh, so, you know, just do another four or another two and just keep going until you start to get the fuzziness or the vertical lines. Okay, once we get to the fuzziness or the vertical lines, this is, I know the limit of this monitor is 174. That is the most it will do. At 175, I will start to get the fuzziness. So go back to your last, your last stable one and then turn it down by 2 hertz. The reason for this is because when you stress test your monitor, um, which we'll get onto how to do in a second, you um, 
you can only stress test a certain number of circumstances. There might be a very unique circumstance where overclock that was stable on every stress test you did happened to be unstable in this very unique circumstance that you only ran into while doing Counter-Strike or whatever. Um, and then suddenly it's unstable and you get problems and your screen goes black and you're like, ah, what's happened? And you don't want that. You don't want that. So just back off by a couple of extra megahertz and this just means that you can feel pretty comfortable that it's stable. Okay, I'm going to cancel this because I already have my correct frequency here. So I'm just going to reapply that after hitting yes, of course. You're going to go to your browser of choice and then you're going to run this little doobry here. This is a little test that will run to uh, just basically check that your monitor is stable. Um, now, as you can see, my frame, it says down here, frame rate it's um it's lower than the 172 and i'm getting a fade this is just because i'm recording it so it fucks it up basically um if you don't record it you won't have this problem so you want this should say valid and be green um which it does when i'm not recording so that is what you can do to check it stable next up the final phase to stabilizing your overclock or making it all nice is you've probably noticed that your monitor's colors have gone a little bit funky um, particularly if you've got a big overclock um, this is just it just happens when you change frequency if you go from 60 hertz to 144 hertz your monitor will look more washed out at 144 hertz i mean it might depend on the monitor but every monitor i've tried it on looks more washed out between 60 and 144 on 60 the colors look all nice on 144 I have to calibrate it a little bit it's no different here when you overclock you'll have to calibrate your colors a little bit just go into the monitor settings and adjust the colors until you're happy with how it looks it's just it's nothing to worry about it, it just happens um, and that should be just about it that should get your monitor overclocked now the uh, last little stage to um, checking everything stable is run some games run whatever you want to use this high frequency for make sure you're not getting any tearing uh, tearing is caused by the your video card not being able to keep up with your monitor essentially so if you're getting tearing which just looks like um what well, you'll know what it is when you see it you'll you'll two, you'll have like two halves of your um of your game or whatever and they won't quite line up um there's like a tear in the middle or something or somewhere there'll be a tear and that is tearing basically so just look out for that if you're getting that you might want to lower your refresh rate a bit or maybe overclock your video card if you haven't done so already i'd strongly recommend you do that because video cards they run them at stupidly low frequencies usually uh, just because they want to ship them all stable um my video card's liquid cooled so i obviously have it overclocked quite considerably um so this is an issue for me um the other thing you want to check is just to make sure that you don't have your screen blackout or anything and make sure it all runs well you can run monitor stress tests i prefer uh, not to use them for the simple reason they don't cover real world situations i prefer to just to just try it see if it's stable you'll you'll find out pretty quickly if it's not if you want to you can just run like video card benchmarks like valley or at 3d mark and you'll get a pretty good idea pretty quickly if you're having issues in fact i recommend you do that before you even play a game just to see if there's any tearing as well so i hope this has been helpful to you i hope you can enjoy your, uh, your luscious new smoothness that you are getting from your monitor and i will be seeing you in the next one next one remember we're doing amd and intel bye bye